Is our universe unique? Is it the only one out there? Or is it part of something way deeper than we could ever have possibly imagined? Very deep questions to start a YouTube video with, but I'm going to be answering those today. Let's dive straight into it. Now, scientists and sci-fi enthusiasts have been pondering the idea of a multiverse in which we are not the only universe out there. There are infinitely many different universes. Some go as far as describing them as parallel worlds. The main idea behind a multiverse is having infinitely many universes existing all at the same time. Now, before I dive into the video, I'd love to get your thoughts on it. So comment down below what you think of the possibility of there being a multiverse. Okay, so you might be thinking this is an incredibly crazy concept and you would be right in thinking that. The idea of there being an infinite number of other universes does sound quite literally mind-blowing and you might have already seen the concept of multiverses explored in TV shows and films. So for those of you that are familiar, Marvel have basically expanded their adventures and they have covered the topic of a multiverse. And there are also films out there like Everything Everywhere All At Once that also explores this idea of a multiverse. So you may have seen it in the way that Hollywood has demonstrated it through film and through media, but how would it actually work? It is believed that everything we see today, every law in physics, every law in mathematics, was governed in the very, very early stages of the universe. It is believed that inflation, and I'm not talking about money, I'm not talking about the inflation of money, I'm talking about the rapid expansion of the universe during the very early stages after the Big Bang, that is known as inflation. And it is that period there that plays a huge role in determining what our universe looks like. So you think about that rapid expansion in the early stages of the universe, all it would take would be a very small quantum fluctuation and the universe that we see would have been entirely different. And that's the idea behind multiverses. It basically says that we could have an infinite number of universes where quantum fluctuations have left the universe in a completely different state. Now, I find that completely mind-blowing, but also incredibly fascinating. The law of physics that we see today in our life and in our world that would be so different in another universe. And I just find that absolutely insane. Quantum mechanics tells us that a cat can be both alive and dead at the same time, and a particle can be in two places at once. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Schrodinger's cat. And I'm gonna explain how that works now and how that relates to the many worlds theory. The idea behind Schrodinger's cat is to imagine you have a box and there is a cat inside it. And inside that box is also a device to kill the cat, which is quite sad. It's not the nicest of examples, but you know, hypothetically, imagine we have a cat in a box and there is a device that will kill that cat at some random time. Now, to us as an observer, if we don't look inside the box, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. Because there is, due to mathematics, a 50% chance that the cat is alive and a 50% chance that the cat is dead. Okay, so you might be thinking, yeah, there's a 50% chance that the cat is either dead or alive, but it cannot be both at the same time. And this is what is known as the observer's paradox in quantum mechanics. What it says is us as an observer with the cat in the box, we ultimately decide the state of whether the cat is alive or dead. So if we say we're not going to open the box, then we know that the cat is either alive or dead. Whereas if we decide to open the box, we know with 100% certainty whether that cat is alive or dead. So we, as an observer, essentially affect the outcome of the Schrodinger's cat experiment. And it's an incredibly crazy thing to get your head around, but that's basically how things work in quantum mechanics. Now, the ability to have two different states at the same time is what is known as a superposition. The superposition state in this example is that the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. Only by opening the box and observing what is inside can we say with 100% certainty what the state is now in. Okay, so why are cats being alive or dead important in the whole grand scheme of multiverses? Well, what we've just talked about is what is known as the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. It basically explains that a quantum system can be in all possible states at the exact same time. Only when we make an observation can we truly confirm what the state is. If you're finding the concepts explained in this video fascinating, 
then you'll love Brilliant's course on quantum mechanics. It dives into concepts such as superposition, like we've mentioned in this video, but also further concepts in the world of quantum mechanics. So what exactly is Brilliant? Brilliant is a platform where you learn by doing, with thousands of courses in maths, as well as science, data science, programming, and even AI. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving. This allows you to play with concepts, which is a method that's proven to be six times more effective than simply watching lectures. Brilliant helps you build your knowledge, little by little, each day. As a bit of a nerd myself, one of my favourite courses is their course on how large language models work. To try out this course, as well as everything else that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash Ellie Slightome, or click on the link in the description and you'll also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the physics. Now, according to the many worlds approach, particles continue to exist in multiple states, with each state corresponding to a different parallel universe. Now this idea behind particles existing in multiple different states suggests that each of those multiple different states are parallel universes. And if this were true, then there would be an infinite number of universes out there. As with the Schrodinger's cat example, only when we observe can we know the true state. And unfortunately, it's not very easy to observe a multiverse. In fact, it's completely impossible to do. If other universes never interact with ours, that we know of, then it's impossible. Obviously, this is not great for scientists that are wanting to prove that a multiverse exists, but either way, I think it's an incredible concept and hopefully a paradigm shift in physics might allow us to understand the concept of a multiverse much better. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.